It's been a while since I have done a fountain pen unboxing and I wanted to share uh, this unboxing. It is from Opus 88 and it's actually my first Opus 88. I have seen their pens um, on various websites and I know that they specialize in um, eyedropper fountain pens and of course I've never tried eyedropping any fountain pens before so this is a totally new experience for me so um, I'm pretty excited just a simple box um, actually it's a nice box because it comes with the magnetic closure and that's pretty fun and there it is opus 88 so that's the instruction which I'm definitely going to need and take a look at the pen wow so this is so pretty this is even prettier than on the photo in the photo it even i have never seen any like sparkly pen with this type of layered layered effect and i can't even describe it um it looks like a like a galaxy in there there's lots of it definitely is not doing it justice but this pen looks so nice i think that's what it reminds me of like a crystal it's like i'm looking inside a crystal um okay let's open it up so okay so the one thing that kind of bothered me when i look at the photo the product shots was i don't know why this opus 88 they didn't change it to pink to match the pink um because they have two versions of this um pen they have a gold one and then they got a pink so the gold one it matches the mark the logo here because it's gold um, but then for the pink, they left the word gold, like the logo, they left it gold. And um, yeah, so I thought I wouldn't like it, but now that I'm looking at it in person, um, it doesn't, it's like a, it's the yellow is not screaming at me. So I think I'll be okay with that. But I wish it was like black, the words or silver. I wish it was silver to match the silver hardware. Um, but let's just open it up. This is my first um, Joe nib. It's number five and I've never used it before. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, and yeah, it just, it looks great. And I think this is going to be a great pen. So it's friction cap at the back. And yeah, I don't think I need it because it's a little too tall. So when I use it, I'll probably not cap it, although I prefer to cap it, but um, not, not, I wouldn't do it on this pen. That is so dreamy. This is such a dreamy fountain pen. Oh my gosh, I think they did such a great job with the shimmer on this pen. The chatoincy and the, the layers in there, it looks like a crystal. It looks like a crystal. Oh, I actually um, purchased two sample inks to, uh, to go with it. I was trying to find a pink that would go with it. So I have Private Reserve Shell Pink and have Sailor Shikiori uh, Sakura Mori. So I'm going to try Private Reserve Shell Pink. Let's see. Let's just swatch it here ooh that is lovely I love that color private Reserve shell pink. 
Okay, and that is pretty nice. And now I'm going to try... This is the Sailor Shikiori Sakuri Mori. Okay. Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori. I like the first one better just because it's like softer and on the warmer tone. So, but I'm going to try more. Um, this is my dye mine green ink vent collection and I just want to dig around to see because I think there was a bunch of like pink inks that um, came included one is cozy up and then the other was celebration I don't use pink inks a lot these are more like not pink these are like red so oh yeah that's that's that is not pink that's red i don't think there's like pinkish inks i think these are both actually red yeah these are actually red and not pink so okay let's try more like pinkish tone inks this one is sailor 252 and it's kind of like um a grayish pink so okay that's more like violet i'm getting my colors all wrong today um that's definitely not that's violet that's not going to be i mean yeah i don't Think that's even close um, let's try this brunch date uh, by colorverse this is has been my longtime favorite ink uh, you know that I use a lot and it's more like a pinkish brown so there's m there might be some chances there there you go so that is definitely on the brown side um, so it might work and this one is uh, Urban Ink it's Tear de Fou I probably said that wrong so uh, again this is one of my favorite inks uh, also a uh, warm brown so yeah even darker actually um so i have sailor studio 437 and um there's actually just a little bit left so i don't know how this is going to be able to be eye dropped but this oh yeah that's actually a dark purple <laughs> Um, which is great, but I don't know if I want to put it in this pen. So I don't think that's going to work. And then I have Diatrementis Apple Blossom, which might be purple too. Um, let's see. Oh, it's lighter, but... I don't know. And then I have Irushizuku, what is it? Ben Zaiten? A hundred anniversary. Let's try this. I think this is like extremely light, so it's gonna be um hard to read. Like I think okay this is more like 
a neon kind of pink very bright so I don't know if I want to put it in the pen because it's a little okay so after all of these um, tests of the pink I'm trying to think if I have any more pink I think I'm going to go with shell pink actually this one might be good too and that was the apple blossom okay guys so i think i'm going to use um this one because it's the closest one to the pen and this is pretty nerve-wracking okay and i guess i'll pick up more should i finish the bottle i think i should okay Okay, we're done. So now, again, I should be flushing this out, but I'm not flushing it out first. And you can still see the ink a little bit. It's a little bit translucent, which is so nice actually um, for this pen. Uh, right now, it, the ink is um, takes some time to flow down to the nib and so i cannot you know write with it yet but uh the instructions said to loosen it open it a little bit slightly so i guess that's to let the ink uh open up the reservoir so it can you know release some it is the next day because the day before when i was filming this the ink would not flow through to the nib so i had a very hard time getting it to like flow through and I had to like wait for the longest time um, and I, I I wanted to see um, it flow naturally to the nib and I played around with unscrewing the bottom and um, I didn't do it wrong it just it just took a little more time to get to the nib uh than my other pens and i i actually don't know if this is a thing with um these eyedropper pens but maybe the tines were a little tight i'm not sure but um i waited about i don't know i think an hour um and i kind of like you know tilted uh t lightly tapped it on the paper uh you know and yeah, it was very stubborn, but it finally started to flow through and write. So by that time, I had lost daylight and um, I, yeah, I couldn't film a good video. So here I am the second day and let's try this again. I have to say that upon first impression, this wrote very wet. Um, the nib runs a bit thicker than my, the usual fine nibs that I'm used to. Um, so, so I'm glad I didn't get the medium and I got the fine. So let me show you and stop talking and just like do a writing test.
So upon first impression, it's pretty smooth and I'm surprised that it runs on the wet side. So I'm using Apple Blossom by Diatramentis and it runs wet in this nib. And I will do a close up of the writing sample so you can see up close, but that is definitely a thicker fine nib and it almost feels like a medium like look at that okay let me do a comparison so this is the pilot elite e95 i just have lying around and this is in the fine this is a japanese nib and a lot of you uh, are familiar with this fountain pen so i'm going to use this to test and compare the nib sizes. So as you can see, it's a little bit thinner, um, but for some reason, uh, it's almost actually, I can't even tell it's, yeah, it's a little bit thinner um, and it doesn't run as wet as the Colero nib. And um, this comes at a surprise for me. Let's try another one. Let's try a Twisby Extra Fine. This is Twisby Extra Fine. And um, it's known to to run like a western nib like twisby pens so let's try that i know it's not fair because this is an extra fine but i just want to i don't have any other pens inked up right now um so there there's the twisby the green one uh so i'm using a colorverse ink for the pilot e95s and for the twisby I'm using uh, Ina Ho for um, for the Twisby. It's Ina, uh, the Pilot Irushizuku Ina Ho. So that is what I'm using for ink, in case you're wondering. And look at how the extra fine can pass for like a fine. But yeah, so the thicker one is still, I feel like, is the Opus is the Opus 88. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't go for a medium. I was so close to going for a medium. They have a gold version, if that's more up your alley. So yeah, I love this fountain pen and I think it will be a good addition to um, to a collection if you if this color is your thing and if you like shimmer so so yeah thanks so much guys for watching i'm obsessed with this one right now and i will catch you guys in the next one see ya